I just spent some time here with a girl that was attracted to me. You know, she endured a long walk, a boring walk, to get here. And, uh, you know, I kept her for a while. And, uh, you know, she touched me some, and I touched her some, but it didn't, it was a failure. Now, that's a harsh word to describe what it was, but let's just say it was a failure. I have a, I have a high threshold for success. Desiree was a maddening success. That was a success. There is no possible denying that. But this one, you know, it wasn't good. It was dead. It was soul deadening. It, it might have been because, you know, what am I saying? It might have been it. It was probably because I was not attracted to her. I asked her questions that she said made her feel self-conscious. And I felt like these questions were questions that were about herself. I was asking her deep questions. Those made her feel self-conscious. There's something wrong with the way, with the questions that I was asking, with what they made her think of. If you had self-esteem, confidence, courage, reason, productiveness, logic behind your side, uh, you wouldn't worry about being self-conscious. It's very amazing existing that I can be here to observe this, observe myself, observe myself, observing myself through this videotape. She didn't want me to record her. She didn't want me to. A blue, a, a really vibrant blue bird was right there. Right there. And she didn't want me to record it. What is going on over there? There's welding going on. I wonder if we can zoom in on that. Look at this, this is how far I can stick my tongue out. Pretty bad for oral sex. Maybe I should go play piano.